Hey guys, Master Far here, and today we're going to be talking about Masters of the Universe Revelations. I saw this show this morning, and I'm here to give my thoughts, and it was awful. It's probably one of the worst TV shows I've ever seen. Just everything about it, from the writing, the characters, it's just... Uh. But, you know what, let's start out with the positives. Because positives, you know, get and cheered up. It's not all bad. There are some good things. Uh, let's see. Uh, the animation's really good. It definitely leaps and bounds above the old Filmation show and even the 2000X show, but... Yeah, and uh, what else is there? Uh, I uh, Oh, yeah, there's one. I liked Mark Hamill as Skeletor. Yeah, he was barely in it, but he was a fun watch for what it was. Uh, uh, I liked Roboto. He, he was cool, I guess, but... Oh, who am I kidding? This show was awful. It's probably one of the worst shows I've ever seen, and... Let's get into that. Now, of course, we got to address the elephant in the room. The trailers and its director, Kevin Smith. Now, it's without doubt everyone knows at this point that they were... Every fan was literally lied to with the first trailer. And I even called it, like... Because there were, like, actual... Like, Jesus Christ, where do I begin? Like, I am very angry, like... No joke, I... I'm furious, actually. There were articles saying that this wasn't about He-Man, it was rather about Tila, which, again, I'm perfectly fine about, but then Kevin Smith, like, started throwing a temper tantrum and shaming this place called Clown TV, saying that they were full of it, and someone owes someone an apology, and, yeah, it came lie after lie, then the second trailer dropped, everyone got pissed, and, like, here we are, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, like, don't get me wrong, you can do a show about Tila, but you have to do it as an adult. Don't lie to people, throw temper tantrums, and just call everyone who's against it a hater. And hell, even the voice actress for Tila in this show is doing it right now. But yeah, as for the characters themselves, my biggest problem is Tila. Not because she's the main star, God no. I mean... With a character like Tila, who's actually one of my favorite He-Man characters, there's a lot you can be done with. And they did absolutely none of it. They gave her a girl thing, a girlfriend, I think her name was Andrina, I think. Andra? Yeah, definitely one of those two, who is apparently a race swap character, too. Just like another character we'll get to, but I almost liked, I, I think it is, yeah, Andra. Yeah, I almost liked her. But there were just certain things dragging her down. Mainly the fact that they're hinting at a relationship between her and Tila, which doesn't feel right at all. In fact, it's pretty set in stone that Tila loves He-Man. I mean, there's a figure called King He-Man from Motu Classics, and uh, yeah. it just feels out of place. Especially when there's some flashbacks during the show that very much suggest He-Man and Tila love each other. And... As for the other characters, Roboto, yeah, he's okay. You know, he does some cool stuff. I like when he's fighting off the zombies, like, ooh, sorry, ooh, careful, uh, that was fun. Orko, uh, they did a lot of with Orko, and not much of it was good. I mean, it's cool that we're seeing him kick ass. I mean, I like that, but then they had to kill him off. And, spoilers, it was for absolutely nothing, and we'll get to why. Uh, Evil Lynn, she was, uh, she was okay, you know. Evil Lynn, I, I kind of like the British accent, but yeah, but also for some reason Beast Man is here, and I don't know why, he is completely useless, like you might as well just get rid of him, hell, you could like literally put any other of Skeletor's bad guys, Web Store, Jitsu, Blade, like any of them, and nothing would change, uh, let's see, as for uh, Mad Arms, you know, there's this point in the story where it suggests they're gonna tell Tila about her origins, because she is, if you don't already know, the sorceress's daughter. And I felt like that would have been perfect, you know, how would Tila react? But nope, nope. They say it's just a story for another day, Evelyn interrupts them, and that just pissed me off royally. My God, like, really? You're not going to tell the, the main character a vital part of her life? Like, you're just going to, no, we just got to make them, like, all, like, hint that there being a relationship and again I can't stress this enough that 
I don't care if it's a reboot. This thing requires too much knowledge. Like, much like the Rugrats reboot, which also doesn't really feel like a reboot. It feels like it wants to be a reboot. Like, it changes a few characters, voices. But it, like, feels like you gotta know stuff that came before. And I hate it when reboots do that. Hell, even the Animaniacs reboot, you didn't really have to know that much. But, yeah. As for... Prince Adam or He-Man himself, uh, they treat him like a joke. Like, they make him, like, at one point, he's even less muscular than Tila. And, like, oh my god, like, they just, like, ham-fisted that, uh, like, there's this race to get to King Grayskull, who is, for some reason, black. And I'm not a big fan of race swapping. I don't know why they swapped his race, because that's actually pretty racist. When you change someone's race or ethnicity. And I'm just going to state this. Eternity is a completely different planet. There's no Africa. You can do whatever you want. And he, yeah, he's just completely black for some reason. And yeah, other things. I know I'm just rambling at this point, but I don't know where to go. But let, let's talk about the story. Uh, the story itself could have been really good, okay? Uh, you know, He-Man, Skeletor are missing. Like, you think... The battle's over, but when the sword splits and magic's leaving Eternia, again, all good stuff. It presents itself in a post-apocalyptic way, but then Tila appears, and she's got this terrible design. I, I don't know what they were even thinking. Hang on. I'm just going to show you this. I'm sorry. This is the Tila snake armor. I don't know why they couldn't use this design instead of this horrible butch Karen look. I don't, I don't know. If I really feel like it's the design and Tila herself that I'd probably just show. I mean, for Christ's sake, she actually scolds Adam for destroying Eternia and not revealing that he was him. Oh my god. She she doesn't seem to realize that why Adam was keeping a secret. Why any of them were keeping a secret. Because if someone found out, and keep in mind, Skeletor has his ways of knowing. He has Screech. Triclops has the uh, Doom Seekers. Like, he has ways of finding out, and like if say someone found out that Adam was He Man, uh, all of Eternia is in jeopardy, and this guy literally saved her life in the first episode, and she's just yelling at him. And uh, but anyway, they gotta go find two halves of the power sword. Again, really cool stuff here, really good idea, but the way they do it is just scummy. Like they show flashbacks for no reason, and just. Treat everyone like an idiot. Like, Beast Man does nothing, Orko dies for nothing, and, spoiler in the end, Roboto does nothing. I mean, the only characters that really do anything are Andra, Tila, and Evil Lynn. That's it. Oh yeah, and Skeletor. Oh yeah, want to hear the ending? They're just about to return the power to Castle Grayskull, and He-Man dies again. Yep, He-Man just dies again. He was killed twice in this show, then Skeletor takes the sword, and oh boy, becomes Skelegod, and I was just, oh, I was just out of it. I was like pissed. Oh man, but overall, this show was just terrible. Don't watch it. In fact, I'd say cancel your Netflix subscription, because like, if they're going to treat us like this with all this crap, like they might as well just, let's show them. We mean business. If you're a true He-Man fan and care anything about the integrity of this franchise, just cancel your Netflix subscription. I've done it myself already. I've deleted the app. I know all oh, Transformers Kingdom's coming up. I'm just going to watch it online somewhere else. But yeah, this is just completely terrible. What went wrong? Again, they have the positives. I did like Mark Hamill as Skeletor, but... Oh, mama, I did not expect to be this right about everything. Like, the lying, like, just... And Mattel's definitely at fault here. I think the biggest reason that it was this bad is probably because of the Masters of the Universe Origins distribution and how poor it was. It's just He-Man, Skeletor, that's it. So they figure, hmm, He-Man, Skeletor, I'm telling you, let's make a woke reboot. Ah, <sighs> but Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not a man-hater or, or a woman-hater, again... Tila show could totally work. Just don't do it like this. Treat Tila better like this and do it as an adult. Do better Mattel. And hashtag 
not my He-Man, and hashtag cancel Netflix subscription. Anyway, this is Master Far signing off, and I'm going to go wash my brain with a little bit of the 2000X series. See you later.